Hello everyone and welcome back to the new book review. Each week we'll be taking a look at some of the new titles coming into the Prince George Public Library. This week we'll be looking at some new books at the adult collection. And without any further ado, let's look at some books. The Field Guide to Citizen Science. How you can contribute to scientific research and make a difference. By Darlene Cavalier, Katherine Hoffman, and Karen Cooper. The experts at SciStarter. If you're looking for a New Year's resolution that will help you connect with the world around you, increase your learning, and make a difference, then I recommend becoming a citizen scientist with The Field Guide to Citizen Science by Darlene Cavalier, Katherine Hoffman, and Karen Cooper. Citizen Science relies on crowdsourcing to gather data for real science projects that focus on the natural world. In The Field Guide to Citizen Science, you will find 50 incredible science projects that detail just how easy it is to get involved and make a meaningful difference in the world. You can give scientists valuable on the ground information about the plants, animals, water quality, and light pollution in your community to inform their research, such as taking part in the Christmas bird count to help with bird conservation. There are also many projects you can help with that are entirely online, like monitoring your pet's behavior or playing a video game to help Alzheimer's research. And you can even help scientists look for aliens. Yep, extraterrestrials. The field guide is lightweight, concise, and lets you easily flip through to find the projects that suits you best. There are even projects grouped by month to show you what you might want to focus on depending on the time of year. Each project also lists how and where you can get involved. But to save you some time, the authors encourage you to use their website, SciStarter.org. You can browse through hundreds of citizen science projects on SciStarter, create a free account to track your progress, use the project finder to tailor your research results to your interests, and begin your citizen science journey. Document dragonfly swarms, classify galaxies, transcribe documents for the Smithsonian, and take part in citizen science to make your new year truly memorable. The next book we'll be looking at is Dessert Person by Claire Safitz. In her first cookbook, the star of the YouTube series Gourmet Makes offers up wisdom, problem-solving skills, and more than a hundred meticulously tested, creative, and inspiring recipes. Claire is a baking hero for a new generation. In the book, she offers problem-solving solutions for each recipe, like what to do when your pie crust cracks as well as practical do's and don'ts, bake time, prep time, and foundational know-how. With Claire by your side, everyone can be a dessert person. The layout of the book also helps any baker find a recipe just for them. From beginner, novice, or experienced bakers will find something in the book. As well, the book specifies when to make the recipes so you'll be sure to be able to access fresh ingredients. Claire writes beautifully and clearly, her passion for baking shining through every page. So pick up Dessert Person and become the baker you've always dreamed of being. Today I'm going to discuss A Radical Shift of Gravity, a graphic novel written by Nick Tapolansky with watercolor illustrations by Kate Glasheen. This graphic novel begins with Noah Hall a young journalist, father, and husband trying to document the most significant event in global history, the fact that the Earth's gravity has begun to disappear and will perhaps disappear altogether. Noah is desperate to interview as many people as possible and ask them one simple question. Do you remember where you were when the shift happened. While Noah's life drives the plot of the novel, time is not clear and the storyline is not linear. We float around in Noah's life and the only clues to the change are in Kate Glushing's art through the change in Noah's hair or a subtle shift in her colors. This loose timeline is much like the change in gravity itself. It's gradual, a little gentle, and it's represented in the art, which is fluid and dreamlike, almost like memory itself. I couldn't help but notice how much I related this novel to living through a global pandemic. And I'm so sorry if you are sick to all of your books and movies being compared to this experience, but I was fascinated by how such a quirky premise could be so relatable. 
especially the portrayal of people who choose to adapt readily to the change, uh, such as creating a new sport, or those that push to keep something as familiar as possible, such as those characters that create a no floating community by inventing new technology. This is not your average science fiction graphic novel. A radical shift of gravity is a science fiction fable. A graphic novel that explores the ties that bind a family together, the forces that threaten to pull them apart, and the quiet beauty of a world where everyone is floating away. And that's all the books we have for this week. The new book review will only be airing every second week, so in two weeks from now, we will be reviewing some children's materials. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out these books.